But our top story this midday remains the continuing coverage of the fallout from a deadly deputy involved shooting in Elizabeth City. Unrest continues in Elizabeth City in the wake of Andrew Brown Jr.'s death last week. As we reported, a Pasquotank County Sheriff's deputy shot him while serving a warrant last Wednesday. The intersides, John Dowding, is in Elizabeth City with the latest developments. John, what's the atmosphere out there like today? Well, Madison, today, after a lot of things going on yesterday. It's pretty calm here in Elizabeth City, but last night there was a lot of action here on the streets. We're seeing video from last night now. Streets shut down, police out in SWAT gear, protesters clashing with police at times. A number of people were arrested last night as they defied the curfew that is in place here in Elizabeth City that was put in place by the city leaders. Now, right now, we're in the downtown area of Elizabeth City. It's pretty quiet. I mean, some of these streets were shut down last night. We've been talking to businesses before we went on air now, just talking about how they've been feeling, how this, how things have been going with, uh, with people coming out here. Some businesses are a little leery, saying that some people haven't been as willing to want to come out downtown because of what's been going on lately. Others say business has been good. Um, coming up at four tonight, you'll hear from some of those businesses about how they're saying things are going, what they're hearing from customers and other community members as well. But for right now, it's Calm out here in Elizabeth City. In Elizabeth City, John Dowding, 10 on your side. And John, thank you. And for the past week, protesters have been asking, where is Wooten? That's in reference to Pasquotank County Sheriff Tommy Wooten. He is yet to make any public comments on the shooting. Instead, he's released a couple of video statements online. Yesterday, 10 on your side sat down with the sheriff to find out why. Because at the end of the day, they don't want me to go out there and say the same thing they've heard on the news day in and day out. I want to be able to address the community and, you know, have some, have some meat and potatoes to tell them instead of just the same old thing. Now, many are calling for the sheriff to resign, but Wooten says he won't because leaving would be cowardly. And Senator Side continues to cover the investigation into Andrew Brown Jr.'s death. Be sure to look for complete coverage right now on Wavy.com.